Yeah, and he's really enjoyed embracing that thick man life. And uh, you can tell, man, this guy, he has the ability to put on muscle. All right, now we're ready to go for match number one at 70 kilograms in the red. That's Zane Rutherford, Nittany Lion Wrestling Club. Oh, nice low shot by Tyler Berger. He's in deep. He doubles off. Now work, working a chest wrap is Zane Rutherford. What is Tyler Berger with the finish? He said he was going to make adjustments. So far, he has really nice low level attack. And Maybe more impressive, Zane had that chest wrap locked tight. Berger was able to move side to side, get free from there, and get the points. He's able to get his weight back. Get his, so Zane didn't have quite the lock on that chest, and able to get a finish. And that speed to the leg is the one advantage you can really point to with Berger. He is really, really fast. He can generate offense from that, his leg attacks. But the question is, can he withstand the pace of Zane Rutherford? The physicality. Zane makes every match a fight. Berger definitely does have the ability to execute late in matches. His US Open final against Sammy Sasso, a great example of that one. Had to come from behind with like eight seconds left to get a takedown. Berger made the move to the Pennsylvania RTC. Head, head coach Brandon Slater's a single leg. Zane Rutherford, they're on the edge, but he's bringing them back in. He says, I want all two. I'm gonna try to finish backside. That's exactly what Zane's gonna do. Taking the lead, 2-2. Over Berger. Really nice adjustment there once he got to the leg. Some guys will settle for one, not Zane. He was going to bring him back in all the way. Good response from Zane Rutherford. There he fires off a double leg, comes up with an underhook. Berger clears out of it. 134 to go. With Tyler Berger, you know you can score now, and they're gonna warn him for passivity. First warning, if you're Berger, you gotta figure out a way to endure this hand fight without letting Zane put a bunch more points on the board. Yeah, he doesn't wanna be engaged there. He goes one way, then the other. Just Berger tries to get in Zane's right leg, but can't get it. Zane is so good at taking ground when he gets that collar. Oh, gets to the leg, unable to capitalize on the shot. Back to that collar, Zane Rutherford. Now he's taking some ground. Now pulling on that head is Zane Rutherford trying to clear to an angle. Nothing there, 56 seconds to go in the first period, 2-2. Two -two. They're gonna hit Berger for passivity. Maybe that's what the whistle would like, but it's gonna get white paddled. 45 left in the first. Zane continues to stalk through the shot. Oh, nice go behind attempt there, one way than the other. Zane Rutherford, that was so nice. He was most of the way to the takedown one side, then he had to go back the other way and got it. Great work, short offense from Zane off the shot from Berger. Goes one way, then the other, as you mentioned, David, and great short offense. And that's one of the positions the Penn State Nittany line is not talking about enough how good they are at scoring counter offense, getting go behinds off drag go behinds or re attacks. And that was a prime example there from Zane Rutherford. Zane Rutherford, Rutherford ranked number one in the world at 70 kilos at the moment. Short time left, and Berger didn't like that hand to the face, but that's gonna do it for the first period. Let's take another look at that last score. It was really nice action. Let's take a look at that takedown from Zane. That shot drags one way, then goes the other. Right, then left, extending his lead 4-2. So impressive. Zane Rutherford, his feet are always moving. There's, there's really not a time when you're going to see Zane Rutherford just hanging in a collar tie. He's always taking those little steps forward or side to side, and it's just such, creates such an advantage for him. And we're underway in the second period. And Zane Rutherford picking up where he left off. There's a shot, a lot of offense now, trying to finish up around the by. Now underhook, what's gonna be the call? They're gonna go two, two confirm. Zane adding to his lead and jogs right back to the center. And we're back underway. 6-2 is a tough hole for Berger to climb out of. That opening attack was his best moment. We'll see if he can get back to something like that. And 
Zane just so active with that right hand, kind of post the head, pulls on the collar. Been able to create a lot of openings, force some bad shots from Berger. Just great positional wrestling from Zane Rutherford. He's always created a lot of openings with that hand on the forehead. A lot of people credit him for that hands in the face rule in NCAA wrestling. And Man, he almost had that leg there. Uh, pulls the wrist with that left hand to Zane. Shot, but now he's right in Zane's wheelhouse. Can he convert? Short offense position. He's got that underhook in the chin. Stalemate. Good news for Berger. Kind of got the feeling that Zane was waiting to see which way Berger was going to go so that he could adjust. Berger wisely just kind of hung out until they whistled it back to their feet. Berger getting frustrated with the heavy hands of Zane. We've seen a lot of Zane's opponents complain about that. He's no fun. They're gonna, they're gonna warn Berger for disengaging. There he fires off an attack. That's what the pressure brings out of you. You gotta either attack or stay in the fight and get beat up. Another shot from Berger, now two on one for Zane Rutherford. Head position for Berger. Twisting that arm, trying to finish behind now with Zane Rutherford. And he's gonna add to wow. his lead two more. Berger maybe tried to stay in bounds a little too long, and by the time he was out, he had lost his balance. Zane gets the two, and he's got a six point lead. And Zane, once again, just sprints back to the middle of the mat. Can't wait to get started again. Some 16 guys, to go. Some guys, six point lead, you think maybe they'll wind it down, but Zane doesn't really know how to do that. He's gonna keep coming forward. A tap from Zane there. Nice single leg in good position. Now he's standing with it. Wizard here from Tyler Berger. Now Zane brings him towards the edge. He's got one for sure, and he's just gonna take that one. 9-2 the lead hey, for Zane Rutherford. He's really the in the driver's seat here. See if Berger tries to attack off the whistle. He's trying to hit that post a couple times. A hard tie there again from Zane. You know, talking about whether Zane's going to go up or down. He said he spends a lot of time in the room wrestling with Carter Storacci. Oh, my gosh. Storacci, a three-time NCAA champion at 174 pounds. This weight, 70 kilograms, 154 and a half pounds. Double leg for Zane Rutherford. And those should be Zane's points. They're gonna go four, two offered, four confirmed for Zane. That's the tech. Really nice attack there. Berger, you can't really blame him for Berger trying to go lat whip there. It, it, at that point, if you're Berger, you gotta try something, so. And they're gonna challenge this. Coach Slay's gonna try to get this from four to two. This is a, you know, YOLO brick. But, but it could could get changed. You know, I've seen Coach Slay's very good with the brick, so there is a chance. This ends up not being a four point feet and back to just a two. If, if it go, yeah, if it does change, I think it'll go from four red to two red. Berger tried to kind of whip him over here. It's just, I don't know. It, you know. I don't think Zane exposed there. No, I don't think he was quite past 90. Seems like a, it will be a pretty obvious four-point feet to back. The jury of appeal will take a look at it and determine what the right call actually is. If the call stands, the match is over. It's a tech for Zane Rutherford. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what, what's the... Uh, yeah. What's the Zane has, he's had some interesting Final X experiences. Talked Seriously. about the, the series with Yanni that went to arbitration. Last year, he wrestled Jordan Oliver in Stillwater. That one went to three matches, three incredible matches. Only two, so good brick from Coach Slay. 11-2, so the match will continue, although there's just 16 seconds to go. So it's a, it's a long road back. And a short time to get there. 
11-2, Berger's gonna shoot, and he got a little headbutt. And Zing takes exception. Zane's Berger. bleeding now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Zane's furious. And Berger's upset, too. He's yelling at him. Look, said, at, hey, Zane's, look at Zane's face. Yeah, man. Covered in blood. And yeah. I mean, it's pretty clear what's going on there. They just showed it on the Jumbotron in the arena, and you, that's what that collective gasp was about. We got a Penn State media member just screaming no class here behind <laughs> David and I. It's just an unbiased Penn State <laughs> media member. <laughs> but you know what? We may have a point this time. I mean, yeah, that's not cool. And it's, it's 16 seconds, everyone, it's not hard to figure out what's going on. Tyler Berger's a good dude. But yeah. Heat of battle, you make a choice, maybe you look back on your, your regret a little bit. Right in the heat of the moment, though, I mean, he, he looked Zane straight in the face and said, man, you're doing the same thing to me. And But he's not. He's not doing that. <laughs> he's just incredibly phys physical and he's effective doing it. He yeah. uses it to score points and it's a different type of thing. And he might need a stitch there. It was a pretty big gash there. Oh, boy. Look at it. Oh, man. that is a big gas. That's a deep one. They're gonna have to take that for sure, right? Yes. Oh yeah. That's rough. You get a restart. You think you have a tech? You get a restart with 16 seconds left, and you end up with a gash and a head wrap, and maybe a little more personal coming out for match two. Uh, yeah. So they ultimately they cleaned it out and they decided we got to go gable wrap here. And much to the probably annoyance of Zane Rutherford. Yeah, so between a challenge and a headbutt, blood time, wow, that was a hard hand slap. Yeah, and this is going to be a fun last 12 seconds here in this match as Berger and, <laughs> and Zane going to hit each other a little bit. And now on a shot is Zane as this one ends. It's going to be 11-2 for Zane. And they'll get up chest to chest. They're exchanging a few words. They're not done. Zane's high, and you know what? Sort of. It, it takes a lot to get that out of Zane. No matter what's going on, he stays pretty even keel. But he absolutely took exception to that. Zane Rutherford, your winner in match number one. A little more drama going into match number two. The way that thing ended. <laughs> 